Alright, so I'm at Shwaini Bay. So last time I came here, I went and showed you uh, the, the white Ola. But now I'm gonna take you to another interesting place, which is not so far from here. It's about five minutes walk. Yeah, around five minutes walk or ten minutes walk. And we gotta go and see some salt pens. So what they do is they harvest salt. You know? So it's around the 7:15 sunset. Sunset's in already. So let me see what I can head. Okay, so I'm in the right direction for sure. Okay, let's move ahead. Careful here. People expanding. A lot of people here come and uh, and go uh, swim still. Okay, so this is another angle of the area here. Amazing. This is not beaches, pebbles. It's pretty awesome. Okay, we're gonna pit stop and buy something to drink. Water. Hi, uh, in Marquis, I call him. Doctor, tell you, 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 Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the guy told me it's just one minute up the road because I told him, is it five minutes? He said, no, not even five minutes, it's just one minute. And uh, I will ask for this guy who uh, has been like generations. It's called Lely. They harvest salt and they sell it. So if it's open, I might get uh, some for home. I love salt, love using salt for meat and things like that. Let's check it out. Used everywhere, guys. Okay, I think we are here. Yep. Here we are. Here we are, guys. This is it. Check this out. Man. These are the sultans. Amazing. So what they do, okay, so what they do is the water comes in, they put also water, obviously, they put water in here, they leave them under the sun for a period of time, and then show you here. Okay, it starts to dry, and that's where you have salt. So that's where you have salt. It starts to dry. Okay, and there's, I don't know, that hundreds probably in here. If you come early morning, I met a friend uh, from France, Charlie, and uh, later this morning, and she was telling me, she was showing me actually pictures of her friend 
came here at 5 a.m. in the morning to take amazing pictures of these salt pans here in the bush. Okay, this area is called the bush, it's very close to Marsan Farm where I'm staying. I mean, taking pictures, not much, but check this out. Amazing. I hope that I can find that guy. So this is like a tradition locally. Uh, more people. There are more spots in Malta that do these kind of things. Oops. But although there's a lot, it's like you know these kind of. Uh, uh, this is a big one. Look, there's a big, big one here. Uh, check it out. Better angle. So, like I said, there's a lot, um, a lot of salt pans around the island. Okay, a lot of salt pans around Malta. But, like in uh, many artisan, call them, we call them artisan traditions. Not many are doing um, salt, are harvesting salt. So, uh, this is the shop of that guy. Reach out. See. Yeah. yeah, it's closed. I'm selling it. Damn. All right. How did that start? Because uh, the typical surname, Maltese surname, not allowed. It's been the Instagram. You can go and check out. Damn, it's closed. It's, it's, it's for sale. Seeing this, taking some water, a sip of water right there. That's better. But look at this. I'm gonna go and take a couple of pictures. So maybe this is just one of those that make. Uh, that has the, the, the legacy, maybe their grandfather usually, or their, their grandfather, their fathers, and then they pass it on, you know? So let me see. Let me see if... Uh, so this is the same one. Look. Natural terrain, it's all sea salt, but the one I was looking for is called Lele. I think it's that one. I saw it in like footage on the news one time. In the meantime, look at this. I mean, let's give it a second here for you to check out. Boom! Amazing, isn't it? Okay. Let's see if this is this guy. Maybe I'll come tomorrow and see if I can buy some salt. If he's still open. Okay, so look. Alright. Let's see if this is still open. But. It's no dates. Yeah, this is the guy I was looking for. Lel Tanmel. Shwaini Salt. Gozo. Nice view from here. It's really better view. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's closed. Might come in tomorrow morning or afternoon again here because I really want to buy some salt from uh, and supporting locals supporting uh, this beautiful island that uh, we Maltese come very often spend week maybe weekend or maybe a couple of days like I'm doing and with a view like this I mean it's pretty amazing cool let's move on I'm gonna go and uh, 
get into these salt pans. Maybe see some some uh, different things that we already showed. I already showed you. All right. So they have look. They have their own. See, no entry beyond the spot. Manuel Tini. They have an email. They don't have time when they open. So yeah, it's like private property. And it seems that these ones look they're in the process. If you take consideration today, it was 39 degrees Celsius, right? 39 degrees Celsius and okay, and it so, I mean weather the kind of weather facilitates everything they have helps the harvesting of salt. Keep out of salt and thank you so you cannot jump on here it's closed look it's closed and it's proper it's like it's a private property so we don't really like own they own the land or maybe they rent it out from the government or whatever so yeah this is a big one big salt pan here and you can jog as you can see Deep walk. It's nothing. And on this side, look, it's like nature, natural habitat, natural uh, kind of cliffs. Some information, private agriculture land of historical importance. I told you, it's very important. Section North is passing. I'm gonna wrap up this uh, this video. Uh, there you have it, salt pans in uh, Zebuch in Gozo. I'm gonna head back off this way, so off to eat something. Yeah, off to go and eat something local or something. Uh, let's we'll see, we'll see what they have on the menu uh, because it's dinner time. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, mini tour of uh, the salt pans in Zebuch. All right, so just jumping on real quick because I have some updates for you. Now, as I went to Wittel Asri, you probably saw the video or you're gonna see the video later on uh, on my channel. As I come, I came back. So it was like, I think it was like uh, around 45, one hour walk from Wittel Asri. And I was passing by because it's the same road, coast coastline. Okay, to the salt pans and guess who I found out you got it right I found out and I found Lely the salt maker the salt harvester and uh, I immediately I don't I didn't know him because I don't know who he was and um, but somehow you know my gut feeling told me that he was he was the guy so I stopped him he was uh, with his daughter I probably see some pictures. I took a picture with him and I took a picture with her. I don't know if the footage came through because I ran out of battery of the, from, the, from my camera. So I started using my phone and the phone storage was full. I mean, tell me about it when you need it the most. Um, uh, you couldn't use it. So, but anyhow, uh, it was such a pleasure meeting him. He was explaining to me like in 1969, he started, oh, it was a big insect. Yeah. So 1969, he um, started because it's on his uh, wife's side uh, that the legacy continued. He continued and he started actually in 1969. Uh, he's an old gentleman, like typical in, in, in Gozo, very nice, very humble. And uh, he was explaining me how he started, how it was difficult to get. Nowadays they're using pump to pump seawater in the uh, salt pans. And uh, not before they, uh, it was heavy work, like heavy work to do so. And it was something that uh, a lot of people um, uh, struggled to continue the legacy. So now obviously there's, uh, there's, there's a pump, okay, you can use pumps and things like that. But still, it's, it is an art that is unfortunately is, uh, people are, are not carrying through 
also the government doesn't help them, uh, doesn't help these people. And although, they, although they have a lot of media coverage, he was telling me that uh, TV stations from Italy, Canada, Australia, a lot of fans, they have a lot of fans, they come here because a lot of people, as I told you in the other, uh, or in this video that you're watching, a lot of uh, uh, photos taken on Instagram and things like that. So they have media attention, but again, it is something that, in my opinion, they needed to help. The government needs to help. They, it needs it needs to be like recognized as a like a UNESCO kind of thing, and they should protect it. Because he was telling me he's annoyed by divers, certain divers that comes to the area. There's a cave uh, down down in, in, in where they where they're at, where he's got his serpents, and uh, I mean they they're struggling with with these divers. Unfortunately, they need to understand that this is something like it's, it's something that uh, it's part of Gozo, it's part of uh, this location. So I think I don't agree with divers. They have a lot of spots in here, but they really wanted to go here. But again, this is a discussion. So he was also telling me a good fact that they are unfortunately uh, closed the shop. This is the reason why at 7 a.m. when I went. Um, and you saw the footage. I went and I saw them, saw them uh, closed. And she was very, very gentle. I don't know what happened yet. She went inside. She gave me postcards. Okay, she was so nice, both of them, so lovely. And uh, yeah, she told me uh, these these uh, postcards. You're not gonna find them anywhere. Uh, you're definitely gonna love them because all started that she told me, "Are you the guy who?" posted the, uh, the photo yesterday aren't you I said how did she how, how did she know because i tagged the area on facebook on my facebook profile she recognized me and uh, it was so funny i said yeah and that guy with she told me are you the guy who took a picture with his hand like this it's like kind of my signature becoming my, my signature and uh, it was so funny but uh, again they are so nice so humble Unfortunately, it's a dying craft, which is something uh, sad because they have a lot of orders. He was telling me, uh, Lely was telling me, they've got orders from US, like restaurants, top hotels, top restaurants around the world, because they have quality product. And I really wanted to buy, but they are closed. Uh, I told them, are you selling? Because I'm looking to buy. They said no. And uh, it's tough times, tough times for, for, for businesses like that, small businesses like that, family-run businesses. So I just wanted to jump on really quick, guys, and uh, up, keep you updated with this uh, experience, great experience, especially meeting Lely, uh, the salt maker, and uh, also his daughter. So we did it. Huh? I'm not sure if you're a good person. 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 I'm not sure if you're